Madam Chair, I move yes, Article 26 to be accepted as read as it has been written here in the document handed out, and that we move to approve it. I second it. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. We move to recommend. Recommend. Absolutely. Thank you, Madam Chair. And this is new. We have not reviewed this before, but I think most of us watched your presentation. I have to say that I was pretty horrified over what you were saying about the steel. We're in the United States of America, and you can't get proper steel? Well, you know, as, as you might imagine, everybody's really trying to make uh, make ends meet here. And uh, reclaimed steel is, is industry-wide, is being used for just about everything. Um, they have started using reclaimed steel as members of the framework for most vehicles. Um, as it stands right now, I know that the, the engines and other trucks that were built around the same time frame are encountering the same problem. And those meals were never any good to begin with, frankly. But there we go. Okay, so this leaves us with just help us out with the engines of the commission. Just real yes, ma'am. I have a 2010 um, engine one. is 2010 Pierce. I have a 2016 Pierce engine four, which was purchased and uh, received at the end of April of right. this year. Um, the 2003 Smeal is engine three. The 2002 Smeal is engine two. It was actually manufactured in 2001. Yeah. And which one is? 2000, the 2001, the, the 2000 engine two. Two. Correct. Okay. All righty, uh, David. Uh, what is a fire engine pumper? Uh, well, uh, we, we typically refer to an engine um, as an engine, right? So it, what it is, is it, it's an engine that has a, 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 it moves the vehicle along, but on it is a pump. Um, the, the pump that we're replacing on engine, on engine 2 is a 2,000 gallon a minute pump. What we're looking for is a 1,500 gallon a minute pump. pump so, that's correct. That's exactly its primary focus. Um, usually we talk about ladder trucks yeah. separately. So an engine moves water, a ladder truck has ladders. I think they'd have the word water. <laughs> <laughs> you understand you. the intent, yes, oh, yeah, Brian? Um, are we going to buy this with the intention of using it for parts? <coughs> no, sir. This would be a, uh, a purchase of a used vehicle that would be, in our best um, estimation, one that will last between four and five years. The 2002 Smeal pumper, as I had talked to you guys last year when we were talking about purchasing the new pump, um, which is now engine four, the lifespan on a pump is approximately 10 years front line, 10 years back line, so our reserve. Um, the 2002 Smeal right now has been in use for approximately 15 years. Uh, we're looking at five more years before we turn around anyway. The replacement of the frame rails was not, it was an exorbitant price that we would not see a good return on investment. We can't take parts and, and use that. The cost to replace the frame rails was $225,000 with new frame rails. Right. There's no reason to suspect that a similar pump wouldn't have similar um, frame rails yeah. right now. So what we're looking to do is replace it with a lightly used pump, um, and then we'll do the inspections to make sure that it's it's going to be serviceable. But it's a stopgap measure to get us through the next five years, yeah. so that just, in five years we'll look to purchase new. Yeah, I just didn't know if... Um, with the pumper, if you got the additional size, or whatever, or else I probably wouldn't even fit. But um. that's true. It's very custom. All the pumps are custom. The smeal that we have right now is a 2,000 gallon a minute pump with large diameter discharges. A lot of plumbing that goes in with it. Um, it's all you know. It's all custom fab. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. one question. What yes, makes sir. you think you can find what's not rusting apart like the ours is? There, there are plenty of options out there that um, that. You know, there's a, there's a large uh, component of the United States that don't have to deal with the same type of winters we do. Um, we're looking at engines that pr primarily come from the south. They won't have been exposed to the same conditions on the roadway or the briny waters that might be, you know, pooling on the side of the road during high tides. So we're hoping that um, we're able to locate a used vehicle that is in moderately good condition um, from another part of the country that hasn't seen the winters we have. He wants one from Kansas where it's all dry. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, Chief. Road trip. <laughs> You're not going to be looking for a smeal anywhere, right? We're going to avoid those. Like you know, it's it's interesting you bring that fact up. What we are looking for right now, based on our experience, where we've been using Pierce a, a lot, so we've been looking um, south again to uh, at another potential Pierce. We've contacted Minuteman, who is our service provider for um, Pierce engines right now, 
And if we do purchase another Pierce, similar to um, everybody's familiar with Carfax, you see the commercials for Carfax, well, Pierce has job numbers. And they're able to research the manufacture date and all of the materials that come along with that job. Each individual piece has that. So they'll be able to determine whether or not all of the factory upgrades have been done, and they'll be able to research that through the job numbers. So we're, we're looking at Pierce right now. What are you going to do with the 2002 Smeal? Is uh, there any money to be made out of it, sell it for parts? Not really. We priced out getting a new engine to replace this and then doing a lease purchase as well. Right. Um, in doing that price out part of it, uh, we asked about trade-in value. Yeah. And at the time, uh, the trade-in based on a $679,000 new pump, yeah. the trade-in value was $5,000. <laughs> to me, I believe that if somebody comes along and they do want to piece this out or, or part it out, yeah. the pump would be the most value. Obviously, the frame rails give us pause. Um, one thing that we don't want to do, and Mr. Mr. Welsh has been very adamant about not doing this, is uh, is selling somebody a product that's not safe. Um, so, you know, we'll have to continue with, with down that road to make sure that we don't do that right. to anybody else. But you got storage considerations and stuff, and you don't want to keep the old piece of... That's true. And uh, currently it's being stored at the beach. Um, but, yeah, immediately once we once we are able to um, get this done, we would we would look to, You'll be to alleviate that. You'll be trying to offload it. That's true. Where you, in the best way you can. That's correct. Okay. All right. You understand the intent? And uh, I think most of us saw the chief at the selectmen's meeting. In uh, those in favor of recommending Article 26. Okay, we've got Lad Marr, uh, Augustine Jones. Plus, Woolsey. Oh, I guess we're unanimous all the way around. Yeah. So, for our, it's everybody. 